with the power of Hera, I'm going to show you how to do this lovely Wonder Woman face. No, you're not seeing anything. I actually am here. Yes, look. Like, I'm here. <laughs> um, I have been away for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just I've had to deal with some family issues at the moment and also with my foot um, problems as well and my depression problems. So, you know, I've had to deal with that. Um, so that's why I've been away. But now I'm back, so... Don't fret, I'm here. Don't don't unsubscribe because I've seen a couple people unsubscribe. How dare you? <laughs> but no, seriously. Um, don't unsubscribe. I'm here. I'm not. I'm not going away. I'm not going anywhere. It's just that you'll find that there are going to be times where I'm not here on YouTube. Um, but I will be back. I am clawing back. Um, it's just a little tough sometimes, and you do have family that comes in, life that comes in, and. Um, also depression that comes in and wants to wreck your life but you climb back as much as you can and um, I'm back here so I've climbed back so don't be frightened so today um, going back to the tutorial I'm going back to my tutorial here and today I'm doing something very very simple and very very cool it's called Wonder Woman makeup yes I am um, I know it's only a Today, yeah, <laughs> it's only a tiara and it's a um, like just regular face makeup. I know, but um, I just want to do something small and fun for this afternoon, something light and really cool. So yeah, I hope you will have fun with me because that's what I'm here for—some light-hearted fun. And um, yeah, so what I've started with, I, I've primed my face obviously, but then if you can see real close, I have my regular foundation, which is you can see gleam in the light as much as I've smoothed it out and tried to blend it in it is there um, have, by the way has anyone seen that new thing where people get a um, smoothing um, sponge and like a um, blending bl a blending sponge and they stick it in a condom and put it on what are people thinking like really we're that cheap that we have to get a condom and get a sponge and shove it and do it for reals? No, I think I'm sticking to like, you know, a blending sponge and um, I don't know uh, this to put my makeup on with. I'm sorry, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a um, traditionalist, so I think I'll go with my makeup brush and my sponge here to sponge it all out, so I'm cool with that. Um, but I'm not going to go and get a uh, either um, a beauty bloody bender made of silicone and I'm not going to get a condom and throw a sponge in it. Ew! People, ew! Weird. Anyway, going back to the initial. So I put on, as I said, my foundation is there and um, my concealer, my poor old concealer. So I put my concealer under my eyes and everywhere else I need to conceal that I'm tired <laughs> because I don't have my glasses to cover up anymore because my poor glasses died, rest in peace, glasses, until I get new ones. And so, concealer is my friend at the moment. And my lovely foundation that I use. So, that is on there, pretty. Like, um, sometimes if you're a guy, you can use BB cream that is tinted, or anything like a cream, like a moisturizer that is tinted. I happen to have BB cream. So something like that, some BB cream or anything like that. So guys, get on that so you, like, you can say that you're wearing moisturizer that is tinted, that you're not wearing makeup, so that can be a thing. So there you go. I forgot to mention that before in another tutorial, until I thought about it after. What is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, so to start for this, I have to get out my pencil, my lucky to do pencil and we have to put on a um, draw on Diana Prince's crown for the Wonder Woman thing as you can see I have my star headband on and I have my hair out today just for this tutorial alone so here I go I'm gonna draw on Diana Prince's sort of crown so that I can later paint it in <sighs> here I go wish me luck I've 
got that really wonky looking star because I can't draw stars. If this was a piece of paper, no problem, but because it's my head, it is a very difficult thing. Like it should be more like that, so it's less wonky. There we go. A less wonkier star. So there we go. Right, so this is my tiara. Very messy, yes, but we always blend it in with the makeup, so we never see where I mess up. So there is my crown, and I will do the rest of the makeup once I've done the crown because I feel like better that way. Plus, I haven't done my bronzer or anything yet, so that's yet to come. So here we go. So the next bit I have to uh, finally do um, is figure out what I'm going to do for the crown because I haven't decided whether I'm using eyeshadow powder or I'm going to use um, Ingo or Cartoony and use paint at the moment. So we'll find out just after this. Okay, so I happened to find an eyeshadow, two eyeshadows that I'm mixing together to make this effect, like a gold effect on my face, which happens to be this colour right here. Yeah, and this colour here, like a lighter gold. So two, um, like a bronzer gold, and this is more like a light gold. So I'm using light gold as a, uh, as a downy on here, but then I'm using the darker gold to go over the top to get this sort of gold sort of look. I didn't want to go for a cartoon look because I'm looking more like a realistic Diana Prince more than a cartoonish um, pop figure um, Diana Prince. So this is what it's going to do. I'm going to quickly finish off this and show you what I'm doing and then I'm going to paint the red um, star on my face. But first I'm going to paint on the uh, star, which happens to be red, and then I can add in the extra detail on the tiara and the star. Okay, let's get the paint for the star. So I'm just going to use this red paint here for the star, red face paint, and I'm going to be using this brush right here for face painting. I hope that I can get this right with the star, otherwise I'm going to use a Q-tip right here to probably put on put the thing on the thing on the what's am I call it <laughs> so I can put the q-tip on the star and paint in the star properly because sometimes um, I find this does a little bit more detail if I uh, just play around with the tip and like um, strip it or um, pull the wool off it or just um, like sculpture and model it a little bit to make it to do what I need it to do so helpful tip <laughs> okay, here we go, and I'm going to put red paint in the lid, whoops, there goes the lid, okay, so we put, get rid of the hair, okay, so we put red paint in the lid, put the uh, paint somewhere appropriate, right, okay, and here I'm going to paint the star on my forehead, here we go.
there's the star. I can fix it up by doing the detail afterwards, but I've, for now I've got to let this dry and probably fix that while I'm at it. Okay, so let this dry and I'll come back. I thought for the next part that I might give Wonder Woman some eyeshadow while I'm waiting for the paint to dry. So I'm going to put this colour here on her eyes and then maybe spread it above a little bit more and make it lighter as it um, fans out just so I give um, Wonder Woman that sort of like texture in her eye that she has that brownish color that she wears so I'm going to do that right now using the same brush I just used on my tiara which is this one here my lovely eyeshadow brush that I like using because today I'm using my regular makeup instead of my um, face paint makeup. The only face paint makeup I used was this. So yeah, I'm trying to use a lot more of my regular makeup. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna do my eyeshadow right now. So it's going on there like that and I've got to do the rest like I've got to do bronzer and eyeline and all the rest. Let me just do that now. Okay so I'm going to use my favorite bronzer that I use for my regular makeup because you could do your regular makeup just with a brown eyeshadow but I'm going to use this bronzer. It's falling apart at the moment, but this is my bronzer. See? It's falling apart like little bricks at the moment. So it's usually pretty good, but right now it's falling apart. So I'm going to try and use this with caution. A lot of caution. That's why one of those ones you can smash up and put back together with alcohol. So it's very... Junkie. So I'm going to try and get the best version of um, Wonder Woman's eyebrows in. <sighs> Cross my fingers, oh, here I go. <laughs> so if I do the rest of my makeup it'll make sense I'm sure <laughs> okay so I'm gonna do my, my eyeliner and my um, what do you call it my mascara and see how that goes okay so eyeliner and mascara like you regularly do and then I'll come back to doing this Thank you. 
pretty much done. I might do some blush. Um, you can either use this sort of blush, this type of blush, or you can use a peach blush. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, I think I might go pink blush because I need it to show up. So here we go. So I've done that, which I'm happy with. Okay, so next part is to get back my black pencil, which is this one. Yeah, just a pencil, not a wax pencil, just a pencil. Okay, like it's not a pencil pencil, it's like a makeup pencil still, but still a pencil, the one I did my eyebrows with. Okay, so I have to draw in the detail of my tiara, otherwise it just looks like a red blob and a gold blob. So, let me do that in. Okay. Um, the detail which is very bumpy because at the moment it's kind of sweaty um, weather at the moment where I'm living and it's hard to put on this makeup because my pants will keep slipping because I keep sweating um, and I, I can't even put talcum powder on my face because I've done all this so no talc today <laughs> so it is really difficult to put this makeup on and I'm slipping all over the place just trying to put it on so Oh, so my makeup is a little messy today. I'm so sorry, but you get the idea with the whole lines. So there we go with the lines here. Across here. Right, you got the line, you got the lines here. Come up with a line here and a line here, and then the star has little marks, little protrude marks that come out of the tiara. So all in all, I don't look so bad. <laughs> okay, last and not least, Wonder Woman actually has lips so let's bring them in shall we so I have this color here it's called boho chic so I'm going to use this color here for um, Wonder Woman's rosy red lips so here we go exaggerate the lip if you want um, you if you don't have like I have the lips so I'm happy with my lips so I'm not exaggerating but you can exaggerate the lip out a bit further and make it look more cartoony you can but I think I'm actually happy with my Wonder Woman look so I've got my long hair out today because I can be Wonder Woman today so here is my Wonder Woman look ta-da Wonder Woman see like do we look like sisters? Do we? See? Do we look like sisters? No? Yes? No? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a Wonder Woman fan, and this is actually my comic book. So, yes, I'm a huge fan. Um, I'm so upset they only bought one volume out, and only about, I think, uh, four or five um, 77 comic books out. So, yeah, I thought this would be a really cool idea to um, become Wonder Woman and do her actual fates. So I hope everyone enjoyed my tutorial, even it's messy as it is, and I tried so very hard today, something simple, something easy, and I uh, hope that next time you need to dress up that uh, Wonder Woman becomes your thing. OK, 
okay hope everyone's having a good day and um i'm gonna go and jump in an invisible ship gotta see ya bye